it's an interesting debate and what I witnessed it's difficult to it's difficult for me to put into words what I witnessed when I saw the Millwall fans booing players that were kneeling for Black Lives Matter. So Millwall fans, for those of you who don't know, unless you've been living under a rock, I think there were other clubs that maybe done it as well, but it was predominantly Millwall where they were playing a league game, uh, the opposition team, they uh, took a knee for, you know, racial discrimination, uh, Millwall fans booed. And that was a subject then to, to massive debate on Twitter. Um, and it, it was a very interesting discussion. And I didn't necessarily want to rule anything out. I, I have my opinion on it. Um, we, you know, Becky, you can give an opinion as well if you want. I just wanted to get your take on it. When you see sort of fans booing, do you understand why they boo? Or do, do you think to yourself, is it necessary? I think... I understand where they are coming from. Um, I don't necessarily agree with it. I think perhaps when I saw what happened, I thought that was maybe a little strong. Uh, and especially I thought it was strong for the footballers to then, uh, some footballers on Twitter then came out and uh, called their own fans racist mm. um, for doing so. And I think that with the Millwall fans, especially without trying to tile them all with the same brush, there are issues of that kind within their fan base. Um, Mm. I think that, like I said, it is a bit strong um, to, to boo it. Um, but I also understand the, um, the frustration of having a political agenda forced on you by essentially the social pressure of, of not kneeling. Mm. Um, I think that there is a distinction, isn't there? And, and, and I think to, to people like ourselves, there are people out there, members of the black community, who maybe will shun us for three white men talking about it. Um, but the Black Lives Matter movement is a political agenda and racial equality is a separate issue altogether. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but the way I would probably sum up the kneeling as far as, uh, as, as, I, as I internalize it is as a white man, if I had a child and my child was playing football with me in the garden, um, and that child then kneels, uh, because, for, because, because children imitate things that they see on, on the pitch, they imitate celebrations, they imitate skill moves, and they inevitably, kids do and will imitate the kneeling and the, the fists in the sky, that kind of thing. And perhaps they might go, you know, Dad, why, why are they doing that? You know, I've done it now, but I don't know why I've done it. And then that mm. gives the opportunity for the parent to educate their child on, on the history or, you know, why that's a thing um, and why it's being done and the underlying fundamental problem within society. And so yeah. there is, I guess, that idea that if this was to go on long term, then those conversations could happen, that awareness could be raised. And I guess the main barrier to the ongoing problem of racism is the lack of education um, at, at a younger level. So I have no problem with it, but I would understand why the, the idea of a, the political agenda of the Black Lives Matter movement uh, can irritate people. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I, I put a comment on Twitter and it was something along the lines of, when let's let's use Luke Shaw in his example. When Luke Shaw takes a knee on that pitch, is he doing it to support his his brothers, his colleagues, his peers, people that he cares about in his team, his teammates? Is he doing it to support racial discrimination and say, you know what, we need to stamp this out? Or is he doing it because he believes in a socialist movement, a Marxist movement? You know, is, is he all for the anarchy? The answer I would say is 99% of those footballers are doing it purely just because they want to stamp out racism. Somebody made an interesting point. They were like, well, if certain footballers don't do it, they'd be thrown to the dogs. And you are right in that respect, Reese. There's a lot of social pressure for people to be involved, but I wouldn't want to be the white player that doesn't kneel and then has to explain that to his black teammates because I do feel like the media is responsible for not allowing us to separate the two one is a political organization with an agenda. The other is we just want to end discrimination. That's what taking you know, the knee is. We, me and Becky made a video a long time ago about Raheem Sterling. Could he be the next Colin Kaepernick? And 
could Raheem Sterling um, implement social change? And Raheem Sterling started doing it. Marcus Rashford started doing it. And I've said before, I don't apply pressure on footballers to be role models. Certain footballers, if they chose not to do it, I'd respect it. But I wouldn't want to have to answer then to my black colleagues in the changing room. I feel like the media manipulated so much and they throw so many layers on it. And then people that are genuinely racist will turn around and they'll try and use words like Marxist and socialist and socialism to justify their narrative. Whereas if you unpeel all the layers and just strip it back, it's just ending discrimination. And that's, I get why sort of certain Millwall fans booed to a degree, but if you're then going to boo that, don't, don't then clap the black players on your team because you're going to make them feel a certain way about that. Because again, they're not going to be able to distinguish what you're saying. So it is a complex subject and, and I'm not against people having an opinion, but I think we do need to strip it back more. I think Les Ferdinand made a comment um, and, and he said that they wouldn't take the at QPR um, more because of the fact that it's now a gesture that has lost its meaning. Mm. And I would just say, I acknowledge that view. That's coming from a black man um, in sport and the challenges that they face that we can understand. Um, and so I, I wouldn't like to shoot it down. It, you know, people can have their own view on it. Personally, that's not the way that I look at it. Um, and I don't know if the Millwall fans were necessarily booing the players, taking the knee, more trying to make a point about the act itself. Mm. Um, I think it can be debated all night. Yeah, it's a really interesting debate. What I will say is, just on behalf of footballers, you know, they're human beings too. And they're the ones that are on in the, kind of in the firing line in that respect. If you don't want footballers to be a role model, don't get on at them about taking a knee because the same people that will turn around and say to you and go, well, they're role models. They shouldn't be doing X, Y, or Z. They should be doing A, B, and C. When they actually try and be a role model and say, well, we want to end discrimination, people turn around and go, oh, that's too political for me now. I mean, I want you to be a role model. I just don't want you to be that much of a role model or the role model you're being doesn't suit my political agenda. You can't have it both ways, unfortunately. Yeah, I think, I think the problem is, isn't it, that the whole thing is, is there to be confrontational because people need to educate themselves. And with a lot of white men, um, especially, um, being told that the things that you do are racist, when you don't believe them to be racist, it, it, can, it can anger you and frustrate you being mm -hmm. hard with that brush. Yeah. Um, and I think to an extent, there is a certain, um, there is a certain uh, fiction behind it because some of the stuff should be okay and, and isn't. Mm -hmm. um, but because people construe it that way, um, they think that these movements label them as, uh, as the racists, as they are the problem. But I think it is more about trying to educate for true equality that we don't understand. And that is what white privilege is. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I think football, Reese, you made a very interesting point there about the symbol itself of taking a knee, losing its meaning. I think moving, moving forward, we, we can't take a knee forever, right? That can't go on before every single game until the end of time. At some point, that's going to stop and we need to implement real change. Because that taking a knee is so close to the Black Lives Matter movement and the issues that come with Black Lives Matter because you have, you know, people saying to fund the police in certain areas and you have people saying, okay, I want to toss this statue into the river because it represents something that I don't represent. I get, again, why that would completely frustrate your average working class person. They're just banging their head against the wall going, why am I seeing this when football is my release? But the gesture itself now, in order for racism to be taken more seriously, I think we need to move away from taking the knee, taking a knee. I hate to call it taking the knee, taking a knee. Because Colin Kaepernick started it, and me and Becky, as I say, we did our video on it, to, um, to highlight injustices within the black and brown communities in America. And it was a very valid point, and you know, I think the message has been relayed. Um, I, and I do think we need to advance it now. And I'd like to get people's opinions in the comments as well. You know, we're not... You know, we're not saying anybody's right or wrong. We have our opinions on it. 
um, you know, if you do want to um, discuss it with us, yeah, you know, smash that like button, put it in the algorithm, we'll get more people involved. And, you know, if you're in the comments, we'll discuss it with you. But yeah, I mean, moving forward, Reese, obviously your take on it. Do you think there's a particular gesture that would work moving forward now instead? It's hard, isn't it? Because again, as a white man, it is hard to know what would be symbolic for a black man. I mean, do you, I mean, there was the whole George Floyd thing and the mm -hmm. footballers started lifting their tops to, um, to, you know, you say, to highlight the injustices of those cases. I think, like you said, the taking the, taking the knee gesture will stop and something will trigger it again. Mm -hmm. so there'll be another, there'll be another injustice somewhere and something else will start. And it's really hard to foresee what that is. I mean, I guess the taking, it's not about the gesture. I think the gesture is designed to, to try and trigger something bigger. And I think that the education in, in the FA, especially the promotion of, um, you know, BAME, you know, BAME coaches, things will, things will need to be taken for that to, to, for that to stop. Um, yeah. I don't think footballers will necessarily get bored of it, like you said, because of the social pressure of being labelled a racist. Mm 